I can look at your life and by discernment know the level and the quality and the health of your secret place. There are indices that I can see in your life that are attestations whether or not you are one who knows God. You cannot, you can't fake the secret place. No, the same way you see a fresh student in a university, no matter how matured he tries to look, something will betray him. You will know this guy just got admission. That is the same way you can see a person and know, although you are a man of God, although you are popular, maybe, although you preach well, but I do not see the signs. There are signs that are attestations. A man approved of God. There are signs. There are signatures that must be around your life. When a president is passing, there are signs you are looking for. And then you say, this is true. He's the one. When an umbrella is knocking, there are signs you look for. When a child is playing, there are signs you look for. There are signs that must be around your life to show that you are a man and a woman of the secret place. Can we discuss a few of them? Number one, brokenness. Genuine brokenness. The first sign that is an attestation of a healthy secret place is not anointing. Listen. Not anointing, in order of priority, brokenness. The degree to which I see death walk in you is proof to me that you have met God. There are things God cannot allow to go back with you when you meet him. No, no. I can know you have met God by the damage that I see in your flesh. There has to be something about that encounter. I, I don't need to look at your spirit to know whether you met God. I need to look at your flesh. If your flesh still stands and gains ascendance, it's not God you met. Not the God of the Bible. Not the God of the Hebrews. Not the God that will bring flesh down to the place of nothingness. Genuine brokenness. Not power. Not a ministry. Not a sermon. Not revelation not impartation i look at your life and the first sign of a healthy secret place is brokenness psalms 51 and verse 17 the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise listen let me tell you something about the strength of god the strength of god never comes to strong people it searches for weakness when it comes and finds you strong it goes back and waits until the day your strength disappoints you then your weakness calls it to come listen very carefully brokenness is proof of humility let me tell you what brokenness is we david is a man who, whose life continues to inspire me. I know why God loved David. David would go to God in the secret place and say, Lord, search my heart. Try my thoughts. Vet them. Create a system of vetting my motives. And if for any reason you find anything there that is not you, I allow you to do as you please with it. Broken. I tell you why people are up today and down tomorrow and, and I don't mean I don't mean to be sarcastic but brokenness when you see a man become proud become pompous becomes dishonoring and careless with your life is proof of the absence of the secret place for a long time when you get into the secret place you don't go there as a man of God you go no, 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 no. You go there and allow the Lord of hosts. There is a name he is called. And his light begins to pass through the darkness of your heart. 
and not to condemn you but you know you have met him when there is a list of the things that must change and the things that must die oh i see that you're a man of god but the last two weeks my verdict is that lust is beginning to grow in you and something must be done this has nothing to do with backsliding it is a system by which men reign and last and remain relevant in a generation I see your life and since the prophetic grace came upon you God says there's pride and so I need to reveal it here I notice because of the persecution coming there's offense growing and the list is there and he brings you to a point where he says what do we do about it and you get down on your knees and say Lord who can help himself when the God of heaven does not help him so while men clap for you outside you are there securing your future through brokenness show me a broken man and I tell you someone who Satan cannot do anything about again every evil thrives on pride it is difficult for God to ignore a broken man listen to me failure does not produce failure failure is the mother that gives birth to success it is success that produces failure. Be careful when things begin to work because that is when you really fail. When the ministry is growing, when the grace is speaking, when the influence is multiplying, when the applauds are coming, death is by the corner. Weakness is by the corner. The temptation of great men is to fall down. When Jesus took Jesus to, when Satan took Jesus to a holy mountain, his temptation was fall down. After all, angels will hold you. The temptation of the great is to be careless and fall. Please hear what I teach you tonight. This is the voice of the Spirit. So that you do not abort that which God is desiring to do in your life. It's not enough to be available, you must be usable. Because there are vessels that are unto honor and there are vessels that are unto dishonor. The condition is not fasting. If a man will purge himself, then that man will be a vessel unto honor, meat for the master's use. Brokenness. When I go before the Lord, I don't go as Apostle Joshua Selman, the great man that everybody is talking about the miracle worker, the one with the spirit of revelation. No. When I go before the Lord, I say, Lord, your son and your child is here, full of my ignorance and foolishness. Except your mercy speaks upon me, I don't trust myself. I don't know what my vulnerabilities are. I've not gone far enough to know what I can do. There are realms I've not entered. And before I disappoint myself, let me come to the God with the all-seeing eye. Broken. Let me show you how great people last in this kingdom. You go to God as a colleague. You go to God as a man of God to receive one or two instructions. You will never rise. Every time people begin to applaud me and say these wonderful things. I, I appreciate them and I truly do. But when I'm alone, I say, my father, I have come again. Let me tell you. It is harder to remain successful than it is to become successful. When a generation looks at you as the voice of God for that generation, it is a serious burden. Most people do not know the burden of greatness. It takes stamina to carry greatness. It takes more than desire. You must sustain the stamina. Because all hell is around you waiting for something. Those who your greatness is killing their excuses are waiting and praying and hoping that you come down to justify that all men are the same. You need brokenness to remain. All kinds of prophecies in the air waiting for your weakness to confirm it. When I see great people do certain things, I get afraid even for them. 
greatness is a realm that you must be trained to stand there it's a slippery path there is a skill to remain in great takes more than desire brokenness if you're a man of God here please listen in the name of the Lord Jesus because the arsenals of darkness continue to loom across ministries and men of God I've announced this again and again that I saw a swarm of like like bees I saw this two years ago just arise and distribute themselves across the church it will take men who understand brokenness to last in this season you will get to a point as a man of God where everything you do is considered a direction from God including your mistakes you will have to be honest with God to go back and say Lord you didn't tell me you wanted to heal I did it out of the the need to show myself but thank you for covering my shame I still return to repent although the meeting was powerful brokenness where you assess yourself in the light of purity and sincerity and while people are saying that meeting was mighty he said Lord you spoke about only one person I prophesied to 90 people you had no hand in it you only honored your name in that meeting I must still return and say search my heart try my thoughts the uploads of men are weapons of mass destruction they can clap you to your grave I say this especially to those of us who are upcoming as God is helping us celebrate success but do it with intelligence brokenness the secret place is a place of brokenness you cannot walk with God when you are complete what then is his contribution in your life so when he comes and meets a complete you he breaks you so that the part of your weakness becomes where he comes into your life God does not use complete people so Jacob wants to be used by God God says Jacob you are standing in the strength of yourself I must do something to you that reminds you that without me you are not complete and his tie is touched for many years I wondered why God would be so wicked to a man to destabilize his structure and remove something out of his system that will make God the completion of that man's life I continue to pray and ask the Lord to show me his mercy that any door he will ever open in my life that will make me neglect my secret place and I even I say it as I preach now may that door never open in my life listen you see when you see God use a man ask for the stories not the results brokenness my house is my altar every part of my house is an altar is a place where I cry before God there are times I sleep on my knees crying to the God of heaven you are the one who shows men mercy show your son mercy oh God too many people are depending on this grace there is no room to fail show mercy from the abundance of your grace there are realms you get to where you don't need to pray give me tea and bread because God would have solved it your cry will be the cry of brokenness take away pride Take away lost. You don't sit down and say, I'm too big, I'm in my car. Jesus almost gave up at Gethsemane and brokenness quickly brought him back. Nevertheless, not my will. Are we together?